welcome to Captain Dave's Sport Fishing YouTube channel. Not a lot of sport fishing going on, but here's where I'm at. I don't know if you're going to be able to read that sign. Genesis Care. Well, it all started back in February. I can't even remember the date in which I posted the fact that I got the prostate cancer, just like my dad had. And since then, I've had all kinds of um, stuff go on. I remember I did a walk and talk down the street, visited the goats that my neighbor has. And back then it was getting rid of a 11 millimeter, 12 millimeter kidney stone. Woo, that was a rough time. But today, finally, is the first day of my radiation treatment for the prostate cancer. So, from here on out, after today, I got 27 more days, I believe, to do it. It's going to take me all the way to about August 22nd. Of course, I was supposed to start this at 7 a.m., be in this building, in the room at 7 a.m. And they called me yesterday and said, well, we're having a little software issue. And since we're having a software issue, let's see if we can make it uh, 10 o'clock instead. So there must be, there must be a technician or something that was coming by, a software issue. Okay, there's giving me, I got lots and lots of confidence there, huh? That's not a confidence builder. <laughs> so the reason uh, I'm doing this radiation instead of the surgery is the surgery just had too much stuff going on that would be six weeks of being able to really do not much anything and the other procedures that i've had like the turp where they augured out my prostate the surgeon said eh, you know there might be an issue there so I don't know. I just, I'm doing the same thing my dad did. He did this at a different place, I believe, and then went to work every day. So let's see how it's going to be for me. Because tomorrow, what it's going to do is if I'm here at 7, I'll know when I can be home. And I mean, already on Monday, I've got like kids trips, two hour kids trips. And I haven't been able to let anybody know what time we're going to be departing. So now I'll know, even on a six-hour adult trip, which seem to be far and few between, because I'm not going to go out and troll around for eight solid hours. I'm not doing that anymore. Forget that. So here's what I got to do. Number one, since I'm sitting in the truck, Let's see. I gotta get rid of that. Spider Co Rescue Assist. Let's see, I gotta get rid of this. A Lightning Elite that I put an 18 degree edge on, screaming mirrored edge on yesterday. Let's see, what else do I need to get rid of? I guess that's about it all things weapons and <coughs> it really helps out if I drink a ton of water when I come back out well I already know because we did a run through this isn't pleasant folks this isn't pleasant I mean you gotta lay down 
to drop your drawers. They're going to shove a balloon up your ass and inflate it to move your bladder out of the way and then beam you. And that beaming only takes, I don't know, two minutes. So it's not like there isn't an orifice involved, but my dad didn't have to have the old balloon thing. I've already been through a run through last week, so I know what it is, but I left my house at 9.15 and it is now, I've been here for about five minutes and it is now 9.43. So coming here at, leaving my house at 6.30 in the morning ought to put me here. 7.30, I ought to be ready to get to the boat ramp probably by 8.30, especially with kids' trips. So it might not be all that bad, but that's the issue. That's the issue I've had is how do I schedule? What is my time frame? What is all, the, what is all going on? So, all right, I'm going to head in and get my first zapping. All righty, I'm back. I'm done for my first treatment. That was a little different. Uh, <laughs> I, I couldn't help what it felt like to me um, that I was going to be like, you know, in Total Recall, you know, the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. When I woke up, I would end up being a double agent on Mars. Now, what actually it is, I mean, you got to lay down. Uh, they put this balloon up there and pump it up. So you kind of, uh, I guess you get used to that. So, um, and then this machine, you know, cycles around you. And it's absolutely amazing that what it's doing is it's going in and giving little doses of you know radiation to shrink the cancer cells or something in your prostate which is like this big i mean they've got technology that is just unbelievable i mean just sitting there it's like unbelievable so i gotta be back tomorrow at 7 a.m and as of tomorrow I believe it's only 26 more times and I hope to be like when my dad gets checked out and they told him that your prostate ain't nothing but a damn shrunk up little walnut and that's what I'm hoping so it's not terrible the big deal is you know getting here every morning because sometimes it's not like I'm going straight to work, you know. I will be on Monday and Tuesday, so now I can kind of figure out as of tomorrow how long it's going to actually take. This place is not that far from my house. And at the same time, when I come and leave my house at 6.30 in the morning, there ain't going to be no traffic. So that's going to be good. So... This has taken months and months and months to get to this position where I'm actually starting the therapy. And I'll tell you, compared to surgery, my cousin had surgery. And of course he claimed, oh, it wasn't so bad. But... I don't know. I, I'd definitely rather do this than have them cut me. You know, I don't want to be cut. And I'm telling you, those people in there, they don't mess around. It is all business, man. The technician and everything, there's, there's like three of them. So, here we go. Probably one of the bigger life things that ever happen to you is when you're dealing with cancer. But I just look at my dad, you know, and he went and did it every day 
for maybe even a lot longer than I did it because this was when he did it, it was 24 years ago so there we go I'm gonna head home uh, got nothing else really else to do today so thanks for watching this was a long time coming. I talked about it a lot. I'm sure everybody done forgot about it. Believe me, it was right here for me. It was right here. And all I can say is, as I've said it to somebody else who's a viewer, please go get your PSA tests. Men over 50. My cousin was like, I don't know, what, 55 or something? And he had his entire prostate cut out. So it's not for this, it's not an old guy thing necessarily, especially when it's hereditary. And it's obviously hereditary because my uncle had it, my cousin had it, my grandpa had it, my dad had it, I have it. I got a double whammy on both sides of the... Um, my grandfather on my mom's side, he supposedly had it. And I mean, he was well in his 90s. Okay. But that's, he had it and he was, I mean, he was way too old to do anything about it. So go your, go to the doctor, get your PSA checked. I saw somewhere where there was one of these uh, famous actors. You know, these people think they're invincible. He never went to the doctor or nothing. The guy died at like 65 from prostate cancer. You don't want it getting outside of your prostate and getting into your lymph nodes or getting anywhere into your, then it goes into your, I don't know, your blood system or something. And you just don't want any of that. So take heed if you have it in your family, even if you don't have it in your family take heed. Alrighty. See you later. Well, here's a PS for you. Both of my parents have had skin cancer cut in the last couple days or last week. And my dad had skin cancer right here on his throat. Right here. So, that's what's next. And I'm not thrilled with the VA dermatologist. I mean, she's a super sweet woman. But I'm not 100% thrilled with the um, way they handle it. So, you know, I might end up something going on the outside. Because that's the next, that's the next thing as you get older skin cancer it's just the way it is there ain't nothing you can do about it except live in a I guess a uh, a tinted bubble be a bubble boy a tinted bubble boy I wanna go fishing cause it takes my stress away I wanna go fishing Cast my blue